Let's say as a company, I have different kind of projects and for each project, there are some specific tasks that need to happen on a dedicated timeline that we can predefine because we know how many days between each task there are. And I want to automate this process so that whenever I create a project, I want to have all the tasks for that project populated with the proper dates and dependencies so that if I switch something in the timeline, all the other related tasks also shift backwards or forward. We can implement this with Notion automations thanks to the latest updates. And to do that, let's look at a simple example. I'm using a project database and a task database that is related to it. So in this example, whenever there is a new project, I want to create a set of tasks and assign dynamic dates to them and also dependencies. So for that, I will set up an automation in the project database and I will call this create default tasks. If I have different tasks for different kind of projects, I might have a property called type that determines the project type and then filter by that in the automation trigger. In this example, we keep it simple and just do when a page added. So when there is a new project, then we can create the tasks. And for that, I will add page to the task database. Then I can set the task name. Let's say task one will be called to the call. And in here I can pre-assign a person. I can also pre-assign the project. That's actually important that this is related automatically to the trigger page because the, each task needs to be related to the project that started this automation so that everything works properly. Then I'm going to set the due date and I can set the due date dynamically. Let's say I know that this task do the call needs to happen at most within five days from project creation. So in the due date, I can set a custom formula that says date trigger dot add that is date add five days this formula adds five days to the date triggered the date triggered is the date when the automation started i'm gonna save this i can also set other properties as needed in my case that's it then i can duplicate this close it and here are my and here is my second task Let's say second task is write the proposal. I can change the SNE, but I'm going to leave it as it is. The project is the same. And the due date, let's say this one is something like 10 days from the project creation. And then I know that this one is actually dependent on doing the call. Without the call, I can't send a proposal in most cases. So I'm going to set blocked by. I'm going to set this dynamically to page added in step one page added in step one is this one here the task called do the call okay and then i can continue here let's say send the contract and send the contract is blocked by page added in step two and the date will be i would say 12 days or 15 days from the date triggered and let's say final task in this example provide the database schema whatever that means so the due date for this would be around 20 days from the start date and this is blocked by the page added in step three that's the previous task so let's create this okay i'm gonna add a new project i'll call this now if i scroll down i can see the four tasks have been created they're not sorted by date in here let's open this page I can sort it by date, so they are in the right order, just like that. Here I can see the date. It is dynamic according to what I set the dates to, so that's great. I can set priorities and all this stuff, that's great. And I can also see if I do, do the call or write the proposal. I want to show you the dependency. Blocked by has do the call and blocking has send the contract. So I know that blocked by is the previous task and blocking is the following task. So this looks all right now let's go to the task database i will also create it here but let's look at it from tasks i'm going to go to the timeline view and here i can see these tasks are properly allocated in the timeline they are quite short because we are only using a due date and no start date so that's why it is like this if i want i can also zoom in to the week or by week where you can see them better let's give it a month to see them all I can also open this view in Notion Calendar if needed. This can be useful to merge your task management system with your calendar system. So you can schedule tasks and see them in a calendar 
which can actually be your executive functioning assistant on a daily basis to see what you need to work on. And in this example, let's say in the three dots under customized tasks, dependencies, I can select the behavior that I want whenever I change a date of a task that's dependent on another one. Do I want to shift only when dates overlap or shift and maintain time between tasks or not shift at all? And if I want to avoid weekends, I'm going to turn this on. If not, turn it off. So I'm going to keep avoid weekends on. I want to shift and maintain time between tasks. And an important note to make this work properly is that under dependencies, advanced settings, you want to make sure the property used for date shifting is blocking and not blocked by. So the others are correct as you can see here. And if I shift do the call, then all the others shift accordingly, maintaining the distance between tasks. If I shift write a proposal back, everything shifts back. Forward, forward. So this can be a handful tool to manage deadlines, timelines of projects, particularly when those projects are complex. And this is all natively possible in Notion right now, thanks to native automations, dependencies, and dependencies that have been already here for a while. But automations really have unlocked the possibility to set dates dynamically on tasks and to create them automatically as well. That's it for this video. If you have questions, let me know and I will get back to you in the comments. You can find relevant resources in the description of the video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.